how did Nick Suriano become one of the best NCAA wrestlers and most famous to ever do it? We're going to talk about that as well as his journey in this video. So first off, Nick Suriano first started wrestling at the age of 12, where he gave up football to solely focus on wrestling. He started at Bergen Catholic High School, which is amazing for wrestling, and became the first wrestler to win 8 NJSIAA state titles overall, 4 being individual and 4 team championships with Bergen Catholic. He finished 159-0 in his scholastic career. He also was a runner-up at the 2014 U.S. Cadet Nationals as he lost to his eventual rival Dayton Fix. After that, he committed to the Penn State Wrestling Program, which was becoming a dynasty at this point in time. However, despite that, he was able to still start his true freshman year and had a pretty good season in the beginning, going 16-1 with two notable wins over last year's NCAA champion Darian Cruz and last year's NCAA runner-up Ethan Lezak. These two notable wins pushed Zoriano to become the number three seed ahead of the NCAA championships. However, he suffered a broken ankle in a dual match against Oklahoma State versus Nick Piccinini, which would change his career trajectory. After coming up for an escape, he somehow found a way to roll his ankle while walking backwards in a very bizarre turn of events, which was truly unfortunate for Seriano. He was able to not compete for the rest of the season and therefore had two more losses added to his record by injury default. After this injury, for his sophomore season, Suriano decided to transfer from Penn State to Rutgers University for multiple reasons, um, but most likely it was because he just didn't really like the room at Penn State and wanted a new change of scenery. So during that new season as a sophomore, he ended the season with 25 wins and only one loss, with notable wins over All-Americans Sebastian Rivera, Ronnie Brasser, and Zeke Moisey. At the Big Tens, however, injury struck him again, and he was forced to medically forfeit after the first round. Entering the NCAAs undefeated, he made his way to the finals by defeating four opponents, including the defending champion Darren Cruz. However, in the finals, he met the notable and great wrestler Spencer Lee, who ended up beating him 5 to 1. In his junior season, he moved up a weight class from 125 to 133 pounds and ended the year with a 26 and 3 record, with one loss being to Dane Fix, his longtime rival. He also had wins over defending MAC champion John Ernest and ACC champion Mickey Filippi. At the Big Tens, he got his first Big Ten title, defeating four opponents, including All-American Luke Pletcher, DeSanto, and Ethan Lezak. At the NCAAs, he made his way to a second consecutive finals appearance, beating out heavily accomplished wrestlers like Stevan Micic and once again Ethan Lezak. But in the finals, he wrestled off against Dayton Fix once again, and went into overtime for the third consecutive bout that he had with him. In this overtime period, he got a clutch escape to force another sudden victory period in which he got a takedown off of a great counterattack to get his first national title. After being an NCAA champion, Soriano then wrestled at Beat the Streets event, beating out Joe Colon, a world medalist from 2018. He also took an Olympic redshirt that year and wrestled at the Bill Farrell Memorial, taking third, and at US Nationals where he took fourth, qualifying himself for the Olympic trials. He was then scheduled to wrestle at the 2020 Olympic trials, however, they were postponed due to COVID-19. So in hindsight, it was pretty good that he took that Olympic redshirt as he would have lost a year of eligibility like many other wrestlers. In 2021, many thought he would compete due to it being a free COVID year, however, he did it and no one knew where he was for a whole entire year. However, he was actually training at Arizona State with Zeke Jones and ended up competing after a year at the Henry DeGrain Grand Prix where he took first. He then wrestled at the Mateo Pelicón taking second, and then was slated to compete at the Olympic Trials in 2021 as the fifth seed. He was a big favorite to potentially meet Spencer Lee in the finals, however, Suriano had to withdraw due to a COVID positive test. After this, he didn't wrestle in any competition until the World Team Trials of 2021 from September 11th to September 12th, where he wrestled at 61 kgs for the World Team spot. However, he lost to Nathan Tomasello by points in the quarterfinals, dropping his chance of making a World Team. After a heartbreaking 2021 season, at the end of 2021 in November 28th, he decided to transfer to University of Michigan for his last NCAA year. He would compete at 125 pounds for the Michigan Wolverines and went 8-0 during the regular season and claimed his third Big Ten Conference title. As a top seed, he went to the finals in the NCAA championships, beating out semifinalist Brandon Courtney and returning All-American Sam Latona before meeting Pat Glory in the finals. However, although the match seemed close on points, it was really Soriano dominating this match as he ended up winning 5-3 and getting two takedowns in his win. And that's all Soriano has done so far in his wrestling career. Now after this, who knows, he might go to the UFC. His college wrestling career is for sure over having no eligibility left, but he might also try to make a freestyle world team or Olympic team if he wants to compete at the 2024 Olympics. 
No one really knows the future for Soriano. He's always been mysterious and never been telling anyone what he's about to do. So we're just going to have to wait and see and see how this career turns out. But that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you like these story type videos. And subscribe for more wrestling content like this. Peace.